see I can see and all around us even on the other side this is the tallest mountain in the area too far we're over there to the whiskey village today this is jungle and forest just jungle and forest and you come out into this civilization Alright guys, how are you doing? Last night in Phong Sa Le. Thought we would take you for a walking tour through the oldest area of, the, of this city. All up in through here to the temple is all cobbled stones. This used to be cobblestone. It's been paved over now. But buildings along here Original buildings are three to four hundred year old. I came through here last night, did not have any batteries left in my um, my GoPro or anything, only on my stills camera. And sitting out the front of this one building, just taking snaps of Akar people and that as they were coming past and people on bikes. Did not realise what I was looking at was 400 year old now I know buildings in Laos look old and they're usually not as old as they look but these ones were and young gentleman we were talking to not long ago Adisak are they thinking about preserving this area making making it a heritage they are are yes. they okay and you're doing a study on yes. On the feasibility of mm -hmm. that okay mm -hmm. that's fantastic because <laughs> this is heaven on earth it is you know i was just showing on the video the people yep. as far as you look 360 it's just forest and jungle and then you drive out into something like this it's incredible the feet they went to mm -hmm. to develop something like this out the middle of nowhere and it something like that should be taken care of should be preserved for future generations He's in charge of looking after um, spearheading feasibility of getting this whole area, starting with this old village, um, heritage listed. And so it should be. For me and Nini were walking through here yesterday. We were saying um, it should be. Before things like this happen to it. Yeah, beautiful building it is. But we sh they should be hanging on to these, yeah. And from here all the way up, this is all it is. Just these old buildings. It's good to see them still here. So I thought I'd come back, give you guys a first hand look while the light is still good. Get tourism happening up here. This would be an ideal walking street, wouldn't it? Similar to um, Shen Khan street is just blocked off and just little stalls not big tents or anything but in the next half hour or so we may be part may pass some as we walk up around to the Ho temple the people coming down out of the forest who have been gathering um, firewood and berries and shoots and veggies and forest food should be passing them soon
This area that we're walking through was the original Fong Sali, just on this side of the hill. Uh, and there was just many villages around, scattered around this bowl of a mountain that is now the greater Fong Sali. And just as it grew, it just turned into one big city. But this was the original area, which um, matches the dating of the oldest tea trees back there, the plantation, which is 400 year old. So this city would have been here um, and the people out there planting the tea trees. It makes you wonder where they, there would have been tea trees in around the top of here, but as the buildings, the city grew, the tea, the tree plantations have just had to get out further and further. Danjung Day. Eyes wide open, mouth open. Ah. That car there. Unmistakable, the headdress, isn't it? It's a baby. The, it's a baby. Right. Yeah, this would have been an old building that's been just lost to development, hey? And then just straight down there into the backyard gardens, into the ravine. Houses just on top of each other here. There is no flat ground, hey? Uh, there's just little alleyways to other houses. Just wide enough to get bikes down in some of them. Hey, it's a baby. The history in these timbers, hey, and these sausages. What are they going to do with the orange peels? Good looking snags there. Bit of a sticky beak, hey. Of a sticky beak, but this is the building. I was sitting on these stairs, just waiting for bikes and villages and people to walk past. This one is over 400 year old, one of the original buildings. Whole heap of water in there stopped at the moment, but. I've got plenty of photos of it. That is it. Beautiful old building. Shame the light isn't on it to show you these colours in it. But I think you get the picture. Like nowhere else in Laos I've seen. And another beauty of Bong Sally, I may have mentioned it, there's no global corporations in here, there's no mini big C's, there's nothing like that, no 7-Elevens, well there's no 7-Eleven in Laos, but you know what I mean, it's all mum and pop stores like these. No big signs. Who's seen a Vivo sign here? I can't recall seeing one. It probably is. I'll probably see one around the corner, but. But if you took the vehicles off the street here and started walking through, you would not know what year it is. What, what century it is. We came down from this way. We have not ventured up here, so let's go exploring together, hey? But yeah, this is where all through here, up to there, it's all cobblestone area. You've seen in a previous video. And the local sports ground. Hello, Ben Jung Day. Hey boys, 
Yeah, I know. You've seen me here the last three days in a row. <laughs> this big orange building up here which we thought was a, a Chinese building. It's not, it's a Ho temple. A hill tribe Ho that we were giving clothes away to the other day. That is their temple. Hello, Sabaydi. Uh, well looked after this timber building. Oh, it's in the shadows to you, you just can't see it. Uh, well oiled timber that. Won't go down there, restaurant there, Nong Kiao. Restaurant. Hello. <laughs> it's been finished for three years. Yeah. Okay. She will go to the temple too. She's going That's to the temple now. Yeah. Another lake down here. I knew there was one down behind our guest house. They do know how to grow veggies up here, for sure. Yeah, lantana we call that. It's got a rose mixed in there. It's a baby. Oh, it's so high, man. Oh, Not sell. Not sell, just for him. <laughs> yeah, just do it. No, i Yeah. You want to walk up there, don't you? A little bit fast. It's not China, okay? It's not China, it's hot. It's hot. Huh. And they write in like similar to Chinese characters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey Barnes office. Yeah. Ah have a look out here. Straight out off the back. That's his backyard. Hey Barnes office backyard. Wow. Alright, downhill. Take the low road to the hospital from the whole temple. Doc Gia, Bougainvillea. It is pretty seeing a, a lake up here, but. It's a baby. <laughs> Go yeah, for a cruise on through the temple and then back up to the car. Some young fellas up here, some young monks. Novices. This is just up from the water. Just there. Hello. 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 Do you have a pass the English bar? Pass the English? No, no. Yeah. Go well, pass the laugh, but no, no. Where are you from? Australia. 
Yeah, Australia. I, I live in Bianchen. Bianchen, I live. But I am from Australia. Australia. Yeah, I have. Mia Koi. Where do you live? Where? Where do you live? Bianchen. Bianchen. Man. Yeah. Can you speak Thai? Hey, can you speak Lao? No, no. Very. I, I, I can go shopping. <laughs> I know numbers and how to ask. Cannot have conversation in Lao. Oh. The foothills of the old city there. Very old indeed. Ah. We'll have to ask how old they got party lights in there. Disco. Nice chill dog. Namasaka. Old stupors. Like um, headstones. Inside them they keep the ashes of the dead. The own day's temple. It is the oldest in Phong Sali. Have Phong Sali, have this temple. Okay. Okay. Um, ceremony for, for any uh, any, any event for all the cultures yeah. around and here yeah. this was the and temple to come to for and all and ceremonies and you, you see the the tree yeah uh, big. Uh, yeah yeah, 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 that's very big. yeah all of them look at this I monster yeah Oxip jet. Six, okay. Hasip jet. He's been a monk Doi. since he was 30 years old. <laughs> Grew up in um, Bangkyu, which is where we went out through yesterday. Always been in this area. He's been in this temple for 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. He's moved he, from he the moved. Move from Barn Kill up in the mountains where we were yesterday. Okay. okay. Local sports ground, hang out for the. <laughs> Hello, guys over here playing guitar. Youngins here practicing their soccer skills. Soccer over there. What a lively area at this time of the day, hey? How many stub toes the old skin off the front of the toe, you reckon? You know, when you peel it back from the, the front of the toenail? We've all done it. These guys just playing kador with bamboo ball and thongs on. That's got to hurt the bare feet. Ah, he's travelled down yeah, to Bianchen. Okay. I'd say this area has been here for a long time, going on these yeah. stairs. The, the same material in these steps are used in these cobblestones. We haven't seen any Akar coming back today. Ah, Saturday. Saturday. Uh, maybe they're at the pub. They're at the pub, Dino. Time for us to head. Tire. In the tire, oh yeah. They're growing them in tires. I'm wondering how they've sealed the hole, the donut. They have, have four, I think. 
there should be should be a hole you think yeah if not no the plan is Damn not it. here's this business lady again up here doing business yeah. everybody comes to picks all these berries all this tiny bit of fruit they gave me one to try yesterday screwed my face up more than the um green whiskey did today but um <laughs> The aftertaste of it's good, really cleanses your mouth. <laughs> Probably rips a couple of layers of skin off, that's why, but... Uh, they, you'll see them here now. This is the dealer. This bitter, bitter fruit dealer lady. They all bring it here, load their bikes up. And they were congregating here yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Oh, more here today. Akars, yeah, they all run when they see a camera. Yeah. Savadi. Hello. She's the owner. She's the owner. She, she's the business lady who buys all this off the people. And the Akar lady over there with her back to us. They are very shy. A lot of customers yeah. down there. Yeah. Okay. A lot of customers. Okay. Thank you. Cup Jay. We've been here the last two nights and we still haven't travelled half these roads here, Goldstone Road. Very interesting walks along here. You just want to walk to the hill. That house is like an, alley, an indoor alleyway, isn't it? Just goes down. Sounds... Sounded Mong for a minute then. I think it was. Hey, Sabadi. Uh, little old homes in amongst new ones like this and then alleyways like this just to get to other homes down there. Up here. Up there is tea. Oh yeah. Uh, hot house a drawing room on the roof. Okay. The sun sets up here or something else too guys, the colours. Siri's told us to go down. Let's go down. <laughs> this boy's just learning how to walk and gone. Planted his ass on a cobblestone. Tin roof's a good place to dry things, hey. Seen a whole heap of socks yesterday on top of all just single socks. There was no matching pairs. Why does that happen? It's not just me, is it?
what a magic place. This is definitely should be on anybody's bucket list coming to Laos if you can get up here. I, I know it'd be a hard ride. It, it, the only way to get up here would be on a chicken and watermelon bus or a van, something like that. But if you can get a couple of blokes together, get a uh, get a bike trek going, get you know, get a bike tour happening, or hire an SUV for a week. It is well worth it. You will fall in love with the place. I know I have. It is well worth the visit.